And so there is a, a basic um, underlying assumption, right? What is that assumption? That you'll get along, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Build those relationships, right? Uh, continually learning. Continuously learning yourself as well as from your students other. from each other. Very nicely said. So this is our, our PLC cycle. And as you can see, we're, like someone mentioned earlier, this is a student-centered organization. And within your PLCs, uh, you mentioned also how you, it needs to be data-driven, looking at student work and analysis. It's not from your gut, like, well, I think all my students, you know, mastered the standard, right? There needs to be evidence that you're continuously looking at, you're analyzing it, you're sharing best practices, and then you're looking at ways to provide interventions for your students or extensions for your students, depending on where they are. So it is a continuous learning cycle. It's an action uh, research model that we're continuously looking to improve. And the characteristics of a PLC are, as a district, you know, it's really important that we also have shared values, a mission, and we have goals. And that's why we're strategically aligning all of our goals so that we're ensuring that we're all driving in the same direction. And we may do it differently at the different sites based on the culture, based on the needs of your students. <coughs> you may do things differently in your PLC team, and that's okay. So long as we get to the end result that our students are going to what? What's our end result? That they're learning and? Being successful in order to what? Global citizens, college, career ready. Okay, I'm checking for understanding here. So, right in, in to the highest level, that we have rigorous um, standards and that we offer the support that they need. So, we need to be results oriented. Mm -hmm.